guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls and today I'm going to be doing my weekly makeup basket for you. So I've got a bunch of products that I used this week, some new, some old, some goodies. So first off, I'm going to talk about what I wore this week on my nails and I apologize, they are looking atrocious right now, but it is what it is, we're going to get through it. So I chose the Zoya Satin in the shade Brittany. And this is actually a really cool matte shade. I think it's really nice. Um, I needed a lot of work appropriate shades, doing a lot of things in the community, so I needed to be somewhat professional, you know. So you can see like it actually has a really pretty, it's coming off now, but it has a beautiful matte finish. But one thing I will say about this, um, as you can see by my damaged one, <laughs> This takes um, patience, you need to let it dry, and I just, when I put this on a week ago, I did not have the patience and I scuffed up a bunch of them, but I will say this is a great finish if you like mattes and you want a nice quality matte. It is a good one, you just have to let it dry, so that is Zoya's Brit. Let's talk about foundation next. So this one snuck in in my March favorites, and this is the new Clinique Chubby in the Nude Foundation Stick. This is in the shade, I believe, 06 Intense Ivory. So this is a close-up of what it looks like. And this is a deluxe sample size that I got from my Sephora haul as like a, you know, extra. And you just kind of twist up the top. I really think this is a great stick foundation. I've been loving stick foundations. As you guys know, I've picked out one from the drugstore that I talked about a few weeks ago. This one's actually $24 full size, which I still think is a good price for a stick foundation compared to some of the other really high-end ones. So this is kind of middle of the road with Clinique being higher than drugstore, but not quite the highest. So I would definitely consider repurchasing this. I feel like it looks very natural on the face. It's easy to buff in and it's so convenient. So I've just been really needing this to be quick in the mornings. I've had a lot of work activities where I just need to get up, go, get myself together. So this has been my go-to foundation for pretty much the last week and a half. So primer, again, I've been really busy this week and I haven't felt like doing moisturizer. I just want a quick primer. Um, I don't even want to take something and squirt it on my face and rub it in. I just want to spray it. So I've been just continuously going to this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. I really like it. This came in the mini size. Um, there's a sample box for $10 on Sephora. Great way to try out these products. Um, I like the mist that it gives. It's quick, it's easy, it's fast. It has a nice citrus smell. So I've been continuously using this and I like it very much. Don't know if I'd repurchase it full size, but I'm gonna continue to use it up and see how I feel. So for palettes, it's had to stay extremely neutral. So I've had two go-tos this week. First off, we'll talk about this one, which has been mentioned before. This is my CoverGirl Shimmering Sands Trio Palette. This is one of my favorite, easy, no fuss, completely quick makeup um, looks. It has a one, two, three shadow for you. It goes um, inner corner, middle, and then crease, and then this just like does it. That's all you need. It's got a decent pigment on it, and it just makes an extremely nice look. I know it comes off a little light, but this thing looks really professional, really neutral. Um, I love these shades, and I use this shadow palette all the time. As you can see, there's like a ton of empty um, little spots in there where I've hit pans. So this is my go-to when I'm just in a rush and trying to get out the door. And then when I had a little bit more time, but I still needed to keep it very neutral this week, I've been going to my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette. Love this eyeshadow palette. Again, I knew this was going to be a favorite. I think I told you guys that last week. Um, this just has the most beautiful, beautiful, creamy, soft, neutral shades, and the pigment is just absolutely gorgeous on this. Um, it's been a go-to, and again, $34. I believe this is exclusive to Sephora, if I'm not mistaken. So I think it's a really good one for everyday wear. Really, really pretty shadows. Um, so this has been just a staple this week. Another thing that I've had to kind of go to a little bit more than I usually have, this is my NARS um, Creamy Vanilla Concealer. And I don't use this under my eyes like a lot of people. I find that it's too thick and it creases and it tends to sink into my fine lines. But what I've been using it for is blemish control. I've had some blemishes, which has been kind of unusual. Um, I've really had a great skincare routine, but I've been trying some new things. And my skin's not terrible, but I've noticed a little bit of breakout, so I've had to use this. This is great for concealing those things, and that's what I use it for, um, but that's not really what I see a lot of other people using it for on YouTube. So this is the mini one. You can try out a smaller sample size at Sephora for cheaper, so 
I don't know if I would repurchase this in the full size, but I really do like it. It is thick um, and it does conceal, so I've been using that for my blemishes. For my lips, I have been using this um, lip kind of hydrating balm from Kate Rimmel. This is in the shade 01 Clear and it's really just like I said, a moisturizing lip balm. I use this as a primer before I put on my lipstick and this just kind of helps moisturize the lips so that the lipstick goes on a little bit better. Really like this stuff, super affordable. Again, you can find this right in the drugstore, um, I think around the $6 range. So for bronzer, I have gone back to the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is in the shade Light Bronzer. It comes in light and dark, um, or light and regular. It smells amazing. When I open it up, it just I'm ready for summer. It's got that tropical um, kind of suntan pina colada type smell. Um, and if you look closely, like you can see, like my brush has definitely been starting to dig into this. It gives a really nice, nice light wash of color. It's not too strong. You can't really mess this up. So when you're not going for a harsh bronzer, you just want a light color. This is really, really good. For blush, I've just been sticking to the Dandelion blush from Benefit. It's in this really, really um, nice light pink shade. You really do have to kind of build this up. I'm actually wearing it today. Um, but I don't mind that. I like I like the lightness of it. It's not too strong. I think it's a perfect spring type blush. And this is in the mini size. It's fifteen dollars, and I believe this. I believe you can get it anywhere now. But I really like that they made them in the mini size, so you don't have to spend thirty. It's fifteen. And you guys, I'm still going strong with this Essence Give Me Brow, um, or not Give Me Brow. This is the Make Me Brow. It's like the knockoff to Benefits Give Me Brow. That's why I always want to say that. Been totally utilizing this in the brows. Gives a great tint. Has some fibers that basically keep your, you know, eye eyebrows staying put, and it gives us a nice little tint. Two ninety nine at Ulta. Yes, please. Okay, a couple eyeliner products to talk about. So I finally tried out my um, birthday perk from Sephora, which was this Marc Jacobs eyeliner pen. And I'm such an idiot because <laughs> look what I did to it. Do you see this? I tried to sharpen it, and since I don't understand a lot about really nice products, it's a twisty. It just twists. So um, yeah, I, <laughs> I almost broke it. But anyway, this is a really, really dark um, sharp liner, um, really, really dark black, very intense. Um, it's almost too dark for me in a way. Like, I really like dark brown. I feel like it's just slightly more natural. But if you want a really intense look, this actually does stay put pretty much all day. So I've been using it kind of here and there. And then more of a fun color that I really like from ColourPop. This is their new gel eyeliner in the shade Overboard. So this is what it looks like. It's also like a spin-up top. It's got this like really pretty bronzy kind of shimmer. Um, so hopefully you can kind of see that. It's a very, very pretty brown bronze shade. Um, and I've been popping this in my waterline, so that's what I've got in there today. But I really, really like it. I like the color, and I like that the color range that uh, ColourPop has with their eyeliners. They have every color under the sun, and they're really affordable. And then a staple, and I'm so surprised that this product has not dried out on me because normally cheap felt tip eyeliners normally dry out um, after a certain amount of time, but this one has been going strong. I highly recommend this if you're looking for a felt tip liner. This is from Wet n Wild. This is their Pro Line felt tip eyeliner, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. So you can see like it's a little less harsh than that Marc Jacobs one, but it goes on super pigmented, stays all day once it's put, not going anywhere, wearing it today on the upper lash line. Love this thing. Highly recommend it. Good affordable option for felt tip liners. And then guys, I've been kind of out in the sun a lot this week for work and I found this at my, um, I think it's at the marina, the marine store. What is that called? I can't remember. Basically it's a boat store and I was with my friend getting some boat things for the summertime coming up and I found this sun bum, um, basically sunscreen lip balm. It's got an SPF of 30 and it's in the scent pink grapefruit and it actually tastes, it has like a taste to it, it smells really good. Um, it doesn't really have any, um, no color, I was really disappointed. It's just clear so it's not going to give you any color but 
it smells super pink grapefruity, which I love. It goes on really nice. I can kind of taste a little bit of the sunscreen though, so it's not like the best ever, but it's really moisturizing. So I haven't tried a whole bunch of Sunbun products, but I really want to for the summer coming up, especially some of their sunscreens. But um, again, SPF, it's got aloe vera in it and vitamin E, so it's a very moisturizing, really nice quality lip balm. And I really like that pink grapefruit um, taste and scent. It's really, really good. So I've been loving this. And then another moisturizing but not a lot of color product is another Tarte Mini sample size. This is the one of their new lip drench, drenches in the shade Nude. So this is what it looks like. And it doesn't really have a lot of color. Just a wash. You can see a slight wash there. It's super creamy. It has like a minty kind of tingling sensation when you put it on. Like you can really smell the mint in it when you um, when you smell it. I really like this for again days when I'm not looking to do anything heavy. Just want a little wash of color, but mostly just keep the moisture. It's super soft, super creamy, and again you got to be careful. These are really really soft products. You don't want to break them. And the same goes for the lipstick that I've been wearing. Um, this is another one from Tarte Cabana Boy. You guys have heard me talk about this the last few. I feel like makeup baskets. It is just the most gorgeous shade. The color is super pigmented, it's super soft, extremely moisturizing. I just think that this shade works with my lip and my my color. I just think it looks so good and it's so work appropriate. I've worn it every day, I feel like the last month when I've had like w real work activities to do, so awesome stuff. And then guys, last but not least is this new mascara that I got in my um, Paint It Pink from Sephora kit. This is the Benefit Roller Lash and I got the mini size. I really like this. I'm wearing it again today and it's just got a nice little rubber wand. It's slightly curved but it's nothing too crazy. I feel like it gives a very natural look to the lashes. It lengthens. I can't say that it's super volumizing but I feel like it's very nice. Um, so I was excited to try this because I'd heard a lot of good things about it but I just hadn't gotten the chance to try it myself. And one thing that I forgot to add that I did try this week one day because I had one of these like foil packet samples and I am so proud of myself because I never use these. So I did try one. This is the NARS, the new matte uncovered velvet skin tint and this is, has an SPF of 30 as well. So they gave you like the tiniest um, .03 ounces in here. And it actually, to me, kind of acted like a BB cream, which I think is, um, it's a lot lighter. It had really good coverage for what I thought it would be kind of light. I would say it was medium coverage. Um, it went on. I spent all day outside. It lasted. It said it's like a 12-hour wear. And I don't think I'm going to go out and purchase it because I just have so much. I don't need anything right now that's, like, similar to this. But... It was good. I do think it kind of lived up to the claims that it had. So if you are looking for something that is got some SPF and is going to last you a long time, it has a matte finish, this was pretty nice. So I thought I'd throw that in. So guys, I think that's it. That's all the products I've been using this week. Let me know what you've been loving in the comments below. I'd love to chat with you and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>